everybody. Welcome to mm, Dharma Jazz. If you're watching this on my Dharma Jazz channel, welcome to day 63 of my 365 challenge. So on my music page, Steve Snelling Music, I've been posting one track a day, creating and recording, producing something, and posting every day since November 1st. So uh, some of those have been more like teaching oriented and I thought I would try, we'll see, to do a post a week specifically for Dharma Jazz, either with or in addition to my, my 365 challenge. So today they're going to be the same post. Uh, day 63 of my 365 challenge. Day one, I guess, week one of my Dharma, Dharma Jazz uh, posts. So uh, Dharma Jazz is about uh, tools and concepts and ideas and strategies for uh, practicing music, improving our musicianship on all sorts of fronts, from shedding stuff and tunes and technical things and theory things and musical, I don't know, inside game, inside kung fu or music stuff, um, and pieces that help us grow. So today I wanted to talk about uh, chord shape, simple chord shape application, um, just sort of plug and play approach to harmony. So let's get going. So here's the concept. We're going to use one simple chord shape that is a root position major seventh chord. Shape, we're just gonna feel it as a shape. So here's F major seven, there's the root, third, fifth, major seventh. Root, posi root position major seventh chord shape, a major seventh chord in root position, roots on the bottom. And we're gonna place it in three places. The first one is with the bottom of this shape, now we're not going to call it the root anymore, the bottom of this shape above a root, a minor third down. So the shape is a minor third up, a minor third up. So it gives us this voicing. Now it becomes a chord we can call D minor nine. D minor third, fifth, minor seventh. So D minor seven, there's an F triad with the ninth, eight, nine. D minor nine, move that D down an octave. Very usable voicing. Now we're going to take the same shape and we're gonna locate it a whole step below a root. So in that case, it's one whole step below G. So here's G, here's our major seventh chord shape, root position chord shape. And we're going to place the bottom note of this shape a whole step below our new root, G. Move the G down an octave and we get this sound. Sus, kind of a sus 6 9 sound. There's the ninth, there's our sus, there's our seventh. Here's the sus 4, that's the sus part. And then a sixth. There's a, there it is resolved, but. So G sus, G sus seven, G sus six nine, something like that. Major seventh chord shape, located a whole step below a root, and the root here is G. Okay, doc, and we're gonna do one more, and that's locating this shape a fifth above a root. So F is five of B flat. So there's F, this shape on F, which is a fifth above B flat. So this shape, a fifth above a root. So here's B flat, F shape. Gives us B flat major seven with a ninth and a sharp four or sharp 11. There you have it. 
So what I would suggest is taking, first of all, the shape and just moving it all over the place. Move it in half steps. So on, up and down the keyboard. Move it in perfect fourths. And then pick one of the chord combinations and move that whole thing. So we're going to start on G sus, up a fourth to C, to F, A flat over B flat, D flat over E flat, and so on around the circle. Okay, happy practicing. So, thanks for watching. Uh, this is day 63 of my 365 challenge. This is week one of uh, a new series of Dharma Jazz posts for 2020. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, uh, follow, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks so much. Happy New Year.